Hello? Do you, no. Oh, I hear you now. Again. I hear you now. There it's, wait, are you there? I'm here. You can't see me though? Now I can see you. We must have a, okay. it's rainy. Maybe it's just a bad connection or it's my internet again. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. There you are in your bedroom. Is that your bedroom or your office? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> that I have a desk here. That's where I do my trading and stuff. It's like a guest room. Yeah, it, it it'd be big. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm yeah. excited for you that you've been doing so well. What has Ben said? Oh, he's excited too. And it's funny because I have my. What I did was I I I realized when I I've been doing so well that I had to set a goal for myself. So my goal is to buy my retirement home in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Ah, so. <laughs> good for you. There we go. When did you and come I've, up with this idea? Well, um, I help out a uh, order of Carmelite nuns. They uh -huh. they were in Buffalo for over a hundred years, and they just moved their monastery to Jacksonville. So I really miss them. So that's why I want to go down there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Now, what you help yeah. them out? What do, what, what do you help them do? Well, like, they, they're they're cloistered, so they don't go out into the world. So, like, when they need um, things from the store or, or medicines, prescriptions, I would run and, and get that and, and wow, bring it to them. Wow, I've never heard of something like that. I never heard of yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. The Carmelites were, I don't know if you know anything about St. Therese of the Little Flower. No. What is the story? Okay. Tell me. Well, she, she was a saint in um, turn of the century in France, and she was a Carmelite. And so she's one of the more famous ones. So uh, she's a, a pretty popular saint. So, <laughs> so are, they, are they like praying 24 hours a day or something? That uh, a lot. Yeah, they spend most of their day praying either solitary or in, in the group. In the group, but, but they always had mass there in the mornings. They would be behind a fence and then I would go to mass in the mornings. So I kind of got friendly with, you know, so. Oh, <laughs> that, nice. That's friendly. Yeah, yeah. So, so they, they moved. moved to Jacksonville. And you, now Jacksonville, though, is not on the beach. Uh, Jacksonville, uh, so where they are is 20 minutes from the beach. They okay. wouldn't go to the beach, but you know me, I'm a, I'm a Jersey girl, yeah. so I love the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. After this blizzard we had up here in Buffalo, I'm <laughs> looking forward to some beach weather. It's 60 to 70 down in Jacksonville. Well, that's so. a great goal for you. Yeah, it is a great goal because I said if I could make this much money every month and I do it for five years, I could pay for the house. <laughs> there you go. So. Well, that's, I'm sure Ben was happy about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he likes that idea too. All right, well, He's now, not ready to retire, but. Well, you know. now tell me what um, that you think you've been doing different since since you got back this year with the options. Like, what are your thoughts? Well, like, so number one, different? I don't panic. Like, tell everyone in the room to be patient. Mm -hmm. So I find myself being more patient. Like today, I had um, two BAs. Mm -hmm. I have one. Um, one put, uh, the $200 put, Yeah. right? Maybe a couple years ago, I wouldn't got nervous because now, oh my gosh, it's up. But what I really think is, I wonder if BA now is going to wait for its earnings. So now are you saying you're getting nervous when they're up or you're getting no, nervous when not they're down? Nervous. I would have in the past. I would have said, oh my gosh, I should have got out of yesterday. But, but it really, it, it hit that bottom yesterday and I really thought it was going to break it. Where was the bottom? What was it like 198? It hit 198 yeah, yesterday. Yeah. And I really thought it was going to 195 because that that's kind of what I had in my head. Well, I said that. I said that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you said it in the room? So I'm not panicking. I have a whole nother week for it. Um, and like if I got out of it today, I'd be almost break even. So it's no big deal. But I do have one that you called earlier on. You called the two tens, but you called it out for the ninth. I did. I, Isn't that? I, no one questioned that. And I did it because it was like a wild card play in the sense that I felt that it was going to drop, but I wanted to right. actually, to be honest with you, I one thing that I've been doing differently this year when I'm at, when I look at myself is I am just giving a little tad. I'm just, I am giving slightly more time. And actually I think that's helped us. Like I should have done that yeah. with JPM. I should have did that with JPM because it's not, it's, that's a bus today. But anyway, yeah. I bet if I gave that an extra week, that's all it would need. So again, I'm giving a, I'm giving, I'm almost giving, I don't want to say too much because again, but I mean, I'm giving them enough time. And even though some of like the one Tesla I paid so much for that I ended up holding it through the earnings because I was not up that much. 
you know, right. and because I had called it out. So the the only negative thing about doing them out and giving that little 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 extra time is that yes, it gives them time to go, but we're paying we're paying a little bit more for them. So you know, but but you're doing them and they're working and. And yeah, I, I wasn't planning and, and that's I, I kind of made a little. So I hate doing the banks, and it's not because the banks never go because they do, but they never seem to pay a lot. No, they they usually like twenty five percent or fifty percent is good for a bank. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I I did the Goldman Sachs. You called a call on Goldman Sachs at the beginning of the year. Yeah. I did that. I got I got out. I got up. I got out up with that one. Yeah. And then you called the JPM. Did I get? Yeah, uh, the, only, one. the only two options I've taken that haven't uh, that haven't worked was one JPM and one SPY. Yeah, the SPY didn't work, and I could have gone long it. But then I said, you know what? I'm just not going to do anything in the market right now. I mean, I just like yeah. things are working that we're not doing that were non-market related, and it's starting yeah. season, and I don't really need to be dealing with the market. And so, and again, the last two days, I'm sure people are getting caught in this. So, I mean, look, we were yes. rally, we were up, we dropped, we were down today. Now we're trying to flip. I mean. It's well, all of a crazy. sudden, it really tanked at 12.30. I don't know if you... I was going to, like, reach out to you. I'm like, what happened? No, I didn't even look. I was eating lunch, and that's why I it's said still, email me. I didn't even look at anything, because I'm not, I'm, not I'm not in anything with the market right now. But I didn't look at it. No, I don't know what yeah, happened I on Friday. I mean, it was up to, what, uh, like 4.20, almost 4.26. And then in the in the space of a few minutes, it went, it, it, it sold off like three bucks. Like, wow. No, I didn't look at that. But yeah, the but yeah. the BA, but the, again, it doesn't. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing about BA yet because the earnings aren't for a couple of days. But I will see. Either way, I have the flexibility. Is what I'm saying, and right. I have the flexibility. If I want to hold it through, I can. If it makes a move beforehand, though, I may get out. So I have the flexibility because I, I right. And that. that and that's what that was my mindset with Tesla. I said if it if it hits, there was a strike we were looking for. Was it? Oh. It was up. That was up so much going into the four o'clock the night before. I thought, gosh. I mean, again, it was, it was, it was. It, you know, that that. I like I said in the room. If you hold something and it doesn't work, then he lost in one trade. Big what? And he just lost in one right. trade. Right. Right. And so that's that's kind of been my mindset as well. I thought, okay. I said I've been winning so much. I'm gonna hold a Tesla. Really, it's. It's it. I haven't really lost it, but I haven't made big. I, I'm gonna hold it through, come what may. And then when I saw, oh my gosh, I saw I that. You were emailing me, and I saw it then. What? So so, well, how much did you pay for the one you bought uh, originally? Four dollars. And then you held it through and sold it at. What? I held it through and I got out at at thirteen dollars, I think. So you got out like pretty quick. Yeah. So. The, That one could expire. I'm getting confused now. But anyway, that, that was, was going to expire, was, was I guess, Friday. tomorrow. That was, yeah, this is to the, today. Today. That yeah. was the one for today. But our, all I spent for Teslas are like five bucks. They're, they're really not that expensive, actually. No, not considering. Again, the only, the only really, really expensive one is NVIDIA, which you said you didn't do that one, right? right. Yeah. NVIDIA Netflix I held off because my account hadn't been built up enough. Yeah. So... But now I, you know, I could, I did, I did crowd. See, instead of doing Nvidia, I did uh, AMD. Oh, that was great. That was a quick one. And too. that worked. Yeah, yep. I got out that afternoon. It went. It, it and actually, I, I think I got out at the high. So, so that was good. So, so, so what I've been okay. I'll do AMD. It's on par with Nvidia. If Nvidia goes, AMD should go, and it's not as much. And yeah, so. yeah, that was good. So you're you're not freaking out. Nope. And that's the difference. Nope. And I'm just, I'm just one contract, one contract, you know. Uh -huh. And then I, you know, in the beginning I was go like we went long Apple, I think it was. Didn't we? we went long an Apple. Yeah, it was a call, one ninety call. And I, I got out like a day or two after I took it, and because I was up, and I just said, you know what, I'm starting to build. I'm starting to build. So yeah. Well, that's a that's a great way to look at it. But also, yeah. so you think that you're you're not freaking out because you're only doing one contract, or because you're focused more on the gap, or what? Why do you think you're all of a sudden now not so, so worried? My size, like it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's like always what you say: it's sizing mm -hmm. and patience. 
And I, I think that that's what's helped me. You know, and plus the ones we've taken have really, <laughs> really made us some good money. So I know. You know that it's everyone loves to win. For for sure. But. Now the original, original, original BA, like one of the first trades of the year. Did you get that? Oh, uh, I made a mistake on that one. I did. I was so bummed. What did you do? Because I didn't change the expiration date on it till the oh, next week. Oh, that's right. You did the first week. Right. And I reached out to her and went, oh my gosh, it dropped eight dollars. And I went to go I went to look for my order on Monday. <laughs> I'm like, it's not here. Why isn't it here? Why isn't it here? And then I realized, I bet you it expired and it expired the Friday before. Yeah. So that was so I'm really, you know, I I was getting excited and nervous. So I'm just trying to just slow myself down. Yeah. Before. So you you give yourself a maximum we're not gonna be in this many things at one time, or you don't care now? Uh like right now, I'm pretty heavy. I'm in I'm in four things, but there there are two contracts at two different strikes: a BA and Tesla. I'm not too worried about that. And you didn't call anything today. Like is four or five? Like that's it? Like have you set a maximum for yourself? Or you're yeah, just like like three or four is probably my max because then I can really I, I I don't get scatterbrained about it. You know what I mean? Like it's not just too overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. So now, are you doing any day trades now, or you're just not? No, not yet. Not yet. And you know why? Because we're going away next month. So we're going away for like almost two weeks. And, and there's just, so, there were so many things going on for me these, this, the first quarter. I just kind of pulled back a little from the day trades, figuring, okay, I'll just, and I'm doing good with the options. And so it allows me that flexibility of like, I love to listen to you in the room because I learned like that, that reinforces the beliefs I have about things yeah. and targets. And so it's it's almost like you know it's it's a it's a mentorship an ongoing mentorship that that has really been helpful for me. So like I called INTC today. Did you do an option in it? Because I didn't do oh, the uh, option. Or you, you didn't know what? Because you didn't do the I day trade. No, I you didn't you didn't call it as an option, did you? No, I didn't. But that's okay. what I'm saying. If you're focused on options and we do a day trade, are you doing it as an option or are you just not doing it? My account with uh, Charles Schwab lets me do three day trades a week. Okay. So I could if I wanted to. You know, and that's even just getting, you know, buying the option, getting in and out the same day. They allow three of those in a five-day period. So you, you, but you're not doing that right now? No. Okay. I did it yesterday with BA and I got in and out. Yeah, okay. so I did one. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, overall, I think I still think you should should get back into the day trading to get in and out quick as the margin trades. But if you want to wait to get back from vacation, then just wait. Yeah, I just figured that, that I would I will probably do that on the second quarter. That's kind of what I figured. I figured let me let me get like get this situated. So, you know, just just going slow with myself because I have a tendency like, like I'm a doer, so I got to do. So I'm trying to pull my. <laughs> I'm trying to pull myself back, you know what I mean? No, I'm like, no. That's like right. well, I think the goal setting is good for yourself, but you also could have, besides the big goal, you know, five years from now, whatever, like you could also have a baby goal, like you're going to try to make 2500 by, you know, March 1st or this, but like, something, like you could set small, like little baby goals yeah. along the way, like monthly goals or something like that, or you know what I mean? Yeah, because sometimes we don't get... You know, it's been a long time since we've done BA like this and Tesla like this. And, you know, we get runs of things like we were doing Walmart for a while, you know. Yeah. So kind of, it, you know, like you just got to ride the momentum while it's still there. And, you know, who knows? There was so there was a couple times there was they were the earnings were nothing burgers. You know what I mean? Oh, my so, God. I know I felt like that. I felt like that last earning season, actually. Yeah. But yeah. what is so surprising yeah. is like and I, I I expected a bigger problem with the 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 econ out today because it shows that inflation's not over. So those people that are, you know, controlling money that think that they're gonna rate cut, they're not gonna rate cut. Well that's probably why well, you said we were falling at lunch. I didn't look at it, Maybe. but that could be why that we're falling late. But I agree with that. But again, if the mark we can't Again, I can't short this market again right now because it's just it's no. just going higher and higher and higher. There's plenty of other things to do. Right, and that's why I have problems with with going even even the day trade type longs because I don't believe in it. You know, now Netflix you couldn't, but you know you always got to be careful. Are they up too much? You know, and people yeah. are going to. 
People so. want to do the gap fills, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Well, no, but it's always I... fun when you're winning. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, I'm really glad you decided to get back to doing options because you can make yes. a lot even with one contract if you hold it overnight and the right. gap goes in your direction and then you can have a huge trade. And while, again, we never know when we're going to get those, they're certainly very, very profitable you know, when, yeah. when they happen. But, but you know, it's been a long time, like you said, where we've had the big, like the big Walmart bars yeah. or the big, big bars even on the day. You know what I mean? Like yep. where you've had it, whether even the longs or the shorts, you know. So I'm hoping earnings season, again, we're just at the beginning. Apple, Google, we are. Now, all of these things haven't, you're not going on vacation, you're not going to miss those, are you? No, I, I, can, not, I can do for my phone. Oh, I can okay. see. I can do options for my phone. So, so we're we're actually going to Asia. <laughs> we're going to Hong Kong and the Philippines in February, which is going to be nice weather. But I can do them from there. Except I think the time I zone though. It's twelve hours difference, I believe. So when you trade it, but see, it'll be nine at night. Oh, so well, I can. That's not too bad. That. Yeah, that's yeah, not too yeah. bad. It's not yeah. like I traded be... in Hawaii. Remember? <laughs> well, Hawaii was rough. Two, three, yeah. four a.m. in the morning. That's rough. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm oh, well. so glad that you're doing yeah, well. Yeah, me too. What a success story. If you hadn't written that in the room yesterday, I would have never even known. Well, because I was looking at my total, I'm going, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So you, didn't, <laughs> so you started the year with $1,500, and yeah. where, are you, where are you at right now? It's like I, I, was, I was getting close to 9000 yesterday when those, when those options were up really high. When, you know, now they yeah. pulled back. So, so yes, so I'm anywhere from 76 to like 86. So I think, yeah, I think your next goal should be get the account up to 10,000 and yeah. then, and then, then you could start to look to, to move some money or use some of the money then to, to the, do the day trades or whatever. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, cause you could, you could get it up to 10,000 and then trade with, you know, 2,500 uh, as day trades and still have 7,500 in the options go, or you could get it up to 10,000 and you could risk more. You could do, start doing two, two contracts or sort yeah. of sizing yourself up for things, but only you have to gauge where you feel like you're, you're like we were talking about off the wagon and on the wagon, like with drinking yeah. alcohol, <laughs> like yeah. only you can gauge, like it sounds like you're on the wagon now. Like you can only gauge when you start to feel like you're slipping away from yourself or like you said, you're getting too crazy. Yeah. And then you start to do wild card things that you shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Or like the, what I was doing last time was I was holding them too long for like an extra move. And the move I had was decent and I should have gotten out and, you know, and like, and the other thing that you've taught me too, is that you always say nothing goes straight down or straight up. It, it you know, it, it like the bounces. Yeah. Well, you know, AMD, so you, AMD continued. I was already out. Somebody mentioned yeah. it. I didn't do it again. I thought, uh, Again, if people were still in it, they made more, but they suffered through that drop of the day afterwards. And right. it's almost like too much stress. Like, and that's why I think that doing multiple strikes like we've been doing or out extra weeks or yep. I mean again, we've been it's an active letter. We're doing a lot of trades. I think this is even more more than we're doing the day trades. So I mean there's plenty of it's not like you can't get out of two things and hold one. I mean, there's no reason to hold everything. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Even, yeah. Even in something that you really, really like, like VA or Tesla, like you don't have to hold every single one. Like what you could have done even yesterday with you could have got out of one of those and held the other one. Like, again, you didn't. It's fine. And I'm in them, too. But I'm just saying, like, that's another idea, you know? Yeah. Well, the, the BA, the one that expires the ninth, it's it's way through the strike. I mean, I could get out. But if it has one more move. You know, maybe by Monday, yeah. then it'll be looking good. But we'll see. You know, who knows? Another wheel might fall off a plane, God forbid. I know. I've been getting articles oh been gosh. sending me, and I've been scanning them, and I'm uh, like, oh, my God. So sad. So sad. Well, nobody's died, though. But, uh, nobody's died, luckily. Thank God. Yeah. yeah, that's good. You know, and Tesla, I think that everyone, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't charge the cars during that cold snap. The, the chargers weren't working. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that. Yeah. And, and you know, the other thing is, uh, we, we were in Europe in, in October. We were in Holland, and there are charging stations all over. I mean, it's almost like, it's to me, it's a hideous sight. It's just, there's nothing attractive about them. 
Well, you know what? I think it's a pain in the butt because, again, if you have to wait in line, if there's other people there, you have to wait. It's not like you're just in and out at a gas station. It's not convenient, yeah. and you're waiting hours for them to charge. You know, I mean, it's a nice idea. I, I, you know, and people love having their Teslas. Their, you know, their status symbols, but. I don't know. Maybe their shines worn off them a little bit, and I, and I don't think the people in general like the 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 elites like Elon Musk because he's free speech. So. Oh, you think that's why he that's taken? I think that's part of it. I think they're trying to stick it to him. Yeah. I don't think we're getting away from fossil fuels though anytime soon. So I no. don't. I don't. And they're very expensive. It's very expensive to buy a Tesla. Yeah. They're not cheap. Not everybody can afford that car payment either. Right, and he's, he says he's bringing the price down, but we'll see. He might have to do that to get the stock back up. <laughs> I know. Well, let's keep riding the wave while we have it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad well, you're doing you, wonderful, Melissa. and I think this is great yeah. with your goal. This is a yep. good big-term goal, and then yep. you, should, you should make smaller goals, like I said. You yes. know, do it on the, the monthly. 10,000 is definitely, it's seeable. You know, I can see it. Maybe in another two weeks I'll be there. Yeah, for sure. Well, with earnings season, we could. I know. Well, I'll let you know. As soon as I reach <laughs> it, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Well, tell Ben I said hi. I will. Thank All you. All right. Have a great weekend. All right. You too. All Bye. Right, talk to you soon. Bye.